Welcome to another Linux Terminal Commands for Beginners tutorial. For this video I will be talking about quote use in the terminal. Let's open up the terminal. The use of quotes is a knowledge all Linux users should have. I'll show you just how important quotes are with this first example. Let's pull up the contents of our current directory, ls. Now let's change directories to test folder. cd test folder. It doesn't work. Now let's try it again with quotes. cd test folder. Now it works. That's because using single quotes preserves the literal value of each character. What this means is test folder when enclosed in quotes will be interpreted as test space folder. Without the quotes, the terminal will interpret it as just test only. That's because by default, space is a special character for the terminal that separates commands from options or arguments. The terminal can't tell the difference of when you are referring to a series of commands and options, or you are referring to a file or directory that has spaces. This is why we have to use quotes whenever spaces are involved in the name of a file or directory. This applies also when using file paths that have spaces. Let's try the cat command to read and output the contents of test1.txt in my home directory cat home slash koshi slash single quotes test one dot txt this is the full path to test one dot txt generally when you enter file paths which contain spaces it would look like command this path has a space I'm just making this up this path has no space slash yes space quotes no space notice every time there's spaces I use quotes and for the parts without spaces I don't use quotes where command is just any command you'd like to use on this path now let's move on to double quotes. The difference between double and single quotes are single quotes preserves the literal meaning of a string whereas double quotes preserves the function of certain special characters such as dollar sign and pound sign to name a few. The dollar sign calls a variable and the pound sign is a comment. Anything after a pound sign will not be executed. Single quotes do not preserve the meaning of these special characters. I will show what I mean by this in a later example. This will make more sense if I do an example using previous commands with double quotes instead of single quotes first. Let's go into copy test directory since it has a space using its full path and double quotes instead of single. cd home slash koshi slash double quotes copy test. pwd and here we are in copy test directory. When it comes to entering things on the terminal without any special characters, double and single quotes is basically the same. Now show the differences between double and single quotes when a special character is involved. We'll use the special character dollar sign for the next examples. First let's clear the workspace. Clear. You can assign variables on the terminal as such variable equals dollar. In order to output the variable we just created, use the echo command with double quotes and a dollar sign. Echo, double quotes, dollar sign, variable. And what we get is dollar because we assigned dollar as the variable for variable. What happens if we try this with single quotes instead? Echo, single quotes, dollar sign, variable. We just get back dollar sign variable. This is because single quotes preserves the literal strings whereas double quotes retain the use of special characters such as dollar sign that lets you summon a variable. Let's try another example with a longer string. We already assigned a variable to dollar. Let's assign two more variables. Number 
equals five text equals double quotes give me a dollar note when assigning a variable to a string separated by spaces you must use quotes otherwise you will get an error now let's echo out these variables starting with double quotes echo double quote dollar text dollar sign number echo this time with single quotes single quote dollar sign text dollar sign number notice the output with double quotes we get our assigned variables whereas single quotes just outputs what we literally typed I think this should be enough to get a basic understanding of quote use in the terminal the use of quotes I showed aren't limited to just the commands I used on the video they apply to all commands in Linux this concludes my Linux terminal for beginners tutorial using quotes in the terminal Here are some more Linux for Beginners videos. Also, please like or subscribe, but only if you want to. And lastly, thanks for watching.